Welcome to the Coffee Club, broadcasting live from New York with your host, Felix, and co host, Dr. Mark. So let's have a cup of coffee and enjoy the show. There is no heaven, there is no hell, there is only this world and its dark reflection. And we do not know in which of the two worlds we are. The Oceanside, California. Well, you didn't tell them who you are. And I'm Dr. Mark. Well, we make up a lot of things. One of them happens to be the coffee club. That's very true. We uh, hope you're listening. Uh, hope we have your undivided attention. Uh, I have a feeling uh, Felix is going to be sharing my mic for tonight. I don't know. I'm not sure. I think I'll take this morning and hope for the best. Uh, yeah, you're more than welcome. After all, this is all your equipment. You're the technical man. Yeah. Amongst other things. Right now, the technical part doesn't seem to be working very well, I think. But I'm not 100% sure. Well, you know, folks, this is our uh, Monday show, usually politics, news, anything you want to talk about. And as the year draws to a close, what's on your mind? We know that ISIS is still uh, on the move. Uh, we know that uh, the war in Afghanistan, in quotes, has uh, wound down, as they say. It is winding down, but it uh, hasn't wound down yet. There has been... There has been talk by the ACLU to charge uh, former Vice President Cheney and uh, some of the other CIA officials with uh, war crimes. Wouldn't that be lovely? I know, but it just sounds nice to hear it and say it, you know. Um, Felix's cat is sitting here preening himself, getting ready for the new year, as I'm sure you are. So let's give us a call at 646-595-3275 and let us know what's on your mind. What do you want to gripe about today? Okay, I know Felix and I have enough to gripe about. We're having major problems here with our equipment. Felix brought us into the 20th century with uh, a whole barrage of microphones and headsets. I mean, the only thing we're missing is uh, the um, asbestos to block out any exterior noise. Uh, what can I tell you? And uh, we are as much in a fog now as we were a year and a half ago when we started this uh, endeavor. Hard to believe, a year and a half, Felix. Yeah. You know, that's longer than some marriages last. Uh, well, I mean, our big achievement, you know, we, uh... <coughs> yet that, well, you have to understand that it took Felix so long with all his letter writing and campaigning, but uh, now you can tell him about it. Then why is it that people can't find us? I don't know. I don't understand. Not only that, by the time they do that, the code's been changed. Right. 
No, this is a very positive show today. Even though you're going to be complaining, which is okay, we just didn't want to contribute. Yes, uh, just uh, the other day, a terrible tragedy. They were sitting having their meal in a car, and uh, this young man just came up to them and just assassinated them. No, it... Uh, in fact, we got two calls, one from my sister and one from uh, my wife's cousin, and they were uh, very upset. And, uh, you know, I told them that Joshua was uh, working overtime. He had gotten an arrest, and he was doing paperwork. At the time, he wasn't home, you know, when they called to tell me the news. But it's, uh, it's just tragic. It truly is. Well, he was quoted as saying, you kill one of ours and we'll kill two of yours. That's yeah. what he said. That's true. It doesn't make a difference. They wore the uniform. That's the problem. It was the uniform that was the target. Well, I don't know, but uh, I certainly don't... Uh, I mean, I didn't really watch a show, but... Uh, I don't think I heard uh, the Reverend Al say anything about this, other than the fact that two cops were shot, you know. Well, I guess... Yeah, but he, he should only know that when people listen to him, as, as I have in the past on his show, okay, uh, he does nothing but stir up trouble, you know. Well, there's no way you there's no way you could overturn a grand jury. the the only The only avenue open to the families would be a civil trial. Okay. Well, you see, there's the problem, Felix. Ask any woman, they'll tell you. Men can't multitask. No, multitask. But the bottom line is my wife tells me that all the time. You're right. I, I'm all thumbs. When it comes to stuff like this, I am all thumbs. You're like Texas Hold'em. You're all in.
especially since Felix doesn't touch it from Monday to Friday, and then over the weekend, and we still have problems trying to get on. Exactly. The executive orders. Well, if you if you if you look back on Friday's. Uh, news conference before he left for Hawaii on vacation. You know, aside from the fact that he chose all women, which was a first, okay, he did seem very relaxed because he has already figured out after six years in office that the Republican Party is not going to work with him. So if he tries to get anything done, okay, uh, they're just going to say no. So he is going to try to get as many executive orders signed and in as he can. And we know that once the new Congress comes in, they're going to try to overturn it. But as many Democrats have said, uh, um, Governor Dean and uh, David Axelrod, you know, they've said that after being the party of no, now that the Republicans control both houses of Congress, they're going to have to get some things done if they hope to elect a Republican president in 2016. So it would be very interesting to see what they do. But... I don't, and he's also basically lame duck because he's going to be leaving after uh, the new year sometime. Well, you know, look, if you're talking about people who deserve rights, I mean, take, for example, transgendered people. Before they can go for the operation to be transgender, they have to dress as the opposite sex and live as the opposite sex for a full year and undergo therapy. Well, how could they possibly do that if they're going to be discriminated against? Transvestites, uh, it, it is, uh, I, I wouldn't want to call it a sickness because I don't want to offend anybody, but there are people who get off on dressing as the opposite sex. I think most of the women, most of the, first of all, most of the transvestites who dress as women, number one, look better than some of the women who are buying the perfumes, number one. Number two, they're probably so knowledgeable about the product because they use it, you know, I mean, that they're, they're a, a plethora of information. <laughs> 